Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out the channel for the love of water to roll. This is your girl Keonti. I'm going to go ahead and give us this weekend read. A lot of y'all are already familiar with you. Thank you for all the uh, familiar with me. Thank you for all the like, comments, subscribes, and the shares. If you know if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is provided in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the notification bell when you subscribe so that you'll catch me when I go live and I do things for the subscribers free of charge. It's just out of love for me, okay? Baby Sharks, again, you guys know that this is a general read. It won't resonate for every baby shark on the planet. Um, if you're cross-watching for the Pisces, it could definitely resonate from your perspective, okay? Don't feel free to feel feel free to put yourself where you go in the scenario. But we're gonna see what's coming towards us for the weekend, all right? What's the incoming energies coming in for Pisces for my baby sharks for the weekend, spirit? What's coming in for the Pisces, spirit? The Emperor, the three of wands. This is divine masculine energy, right? But the emperor could be a boss or a business owner, a landlord, a father figure, a husband. Whoever it is that's coming up is divine masculine energy, big daddy. And it looks like here he comes. He's manifesting and he's making some sort of decision. And it's incoming with the three of wands. The knight of swords, yeah. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Leo, an air sign. Doesn't have to be any of these signs. But there's getting ready to be some sort of communication coming in. It's going to be direct and to the point, too, looks like, with the Knight of Swords, strength. Yeah, the star. A lot of major arcanas. It could be coming from a Leo or an Aquarius here. But somebody is getting ready to make a clear intention, Pisces. This emperor is. Ooh-wee, let's go. Okay, Pisces, let's see what the external source or how your person is seeing the situation here. How does Pisces' person see this situation, here for the weekend? The Nine of Pentacles. The king of Pentacles. Ooh, we Pisces. And there's that Knight of Swords. Pisces, you could be dealing with a Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Mm. Oh, I'm getting a lot of messages off of this Pisces. It's going to be different for a couple of you, right? Some of you could be getting information from a masculine energy here that he is now single. He could be coming towards this single woman or he's expressing something about him being single, right? Because I feel like it's probably the same emperor here. This king of pentacles, boss, husband, then business owner, father figure. It could definitely be like a landlord authority figure. I feel like the, here's the knight of swords. This is this, 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 this energy here. Making some sort of declaration, making some sort of statement. It could definitely, if you if you are a single woman, he could be saying this to you. He could be communicating something about his singlehood, his freedom. Strength. There it is again, all over again. Major arcanas here. Pisces, someone could be telling you that they're getting ready to leave something in the cold and they're strategically doing it. Mm, there's something here about someone using their intuition, Pisces. Pisces, this could be somebody you walked away from. Somebody could be getting ready to walk away from someone else. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, Pisces, let's see where you go in this situation. Let's see how you show up for my baby sharks for the weekend. Spirit, what is Pisces energy? Five of Pentacles, leaving the past and the past, two of Pentacles. Pisces, you're juggling this. Pisces, there's something about this with the Five of Pentacles here. This is your energy about it. I don't feel bad about this. I feel like this is feeling left out in the cold. Some of you, you could be, I feel like you could be deciding with the Two of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign, or this is something dealing with work or your finances or your stability. This could be something about your boss at your job, your landlord, put it where it goes. You have a decision, Pisces. You're trying to decide, should you leave the past in the past? Should you leave someone out in the cold? Ten of Pentacles is definitely dealing with longevity and energies of commitment, family, legacy, home. The Ten of Pentacles here. You have a decision, Pisces. Will you or won't you? Pisces, some of you, I feel like you could be going from rags to riches, Pisces, because you could be the Five of Pentacles right now, and then something comes in, bam, and now it's the Ten, right? Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. There's some sort of communication coming in towards you, Pisces, about a burden being dropped. In some kind of way, you're getting wish fulfillment in this. You're getting busy. You're working on something. And something is healing and moving forward. Mm. What's the obstacle? <laughs> What's the obstacle here for the baby sharks? For this, this I was going to say for this shit here. <laughs> What's the obstacle for Pisces? In this situation for the weekend, babe. Yeah. Four cups. The page of cups. The obstacle is, Pisces, 
somebody is bored and discontent, right? The four of cups to me is the energy. Well, like I'm straight because there's three cups standing, right? I'm okay. But there's something here about something that's that I'm this this displeases me, right? <laughs> Right, this is the energy of the four of cups. Like, right, I got three cups standing, three perfectly good cups, beautiful cups. But this cup displeases me, right? That's the obstacle here, right? Being displeased or being bored with with an offer here, page of cups, right? Some of you, you could be you could be wondering if this offer is good enough because you could be seeing it as a page, right? Pages are not knights or kings. This could definitely be dealing with children or someone that you have children with, right? Some of you, the obstacle is, is something about your emotions, right? You're being like, hey, man, yep. The obstacle could be you being like, you like well, you could be a bit bored and discontent with the offer. You could be sitting on it and trying to decide with the hey, man. I got an ace of swords coming in to you, Pisces. Whatever's been stuck or or, or you've been in the five of pentacles uh, in, in this energy about, but the hangman and the ace of swords, there's some sort of communication coming in about this. What's the outcome here for the baby sharks for the weekend, baby? What's the outcome here for my beautiful Pisces for the weekend? What's the outcome here for Pisces for the weekend, spirit? For my beautiful baby sharks. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love to read y'all comments. I promise you I'll read it. Each and every one. What's the outcome here for Pisces for the weekend? The high priestess. You're going to have to use your intuition. Pisces, it's the Ace of Cups coming in, though. You're using your intuition about this. You quiet as a church mouse thinking about something here. Two of Swords. You got a decision to make, Pisces. Because there's something going on with you and a soulmate here. There's been some sort of disappointment. But something is getting ready to push through. It's going to be a tower moment here. Coming in. You definitely, I'm definitely going to go around. If you want to be nosy, stick with me. But if this is where we end, I'm telling you, there's something happening with a soulmate. I don't, with the, with the Ace of Cups, the Two of Swords, you may not see this coming for sure because you're quiet. But there's an Ace of Cups coming in. You're going to have a decision to make, Pisces, about this. It's definitely dealing with a soulmate that disappointed you or a situation dealing with the soulmate that you have been disappointed in, right? You're definitely going to have to keep your shit together with strength in the two of cups. You're going to have to stay in control because there is a tower moment coming in from a soulmate here, Pisces. I see it. I'm going to go around one more time. It's going to get a little messy, baby charge. Let me see what else I can get for this on you. You're using your intuition. You definitely are. Your intuition is going to guide you here, Pisces. And the ace of cups is right under there, so I see it coming. But let's see. Why is the emperor here for the incoming energies? The Four of Pentacles. Some of you have definitely been dealing with somebody that's been very stubborn, someone that's been holding back, right? Because the Emperor is already stubborn energy, right? The Emperor is the boss. So this is somebody who, who doesn't really have to negotiate or be um or be flexible if they don't want to. The Four of Pentacles is a stubborn energy. The Tower. Yes, somebody is getting ready to come in. Listen, the Four of Pentacles comes before the Tower, right? This is holding. What happens when you do? I, I always ask, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what happens when you are doing the Four of Pentacles? When you're holding on to something too tightly, eventually what? Something blows up, right? So someone has been holding on to something here. There's a tower moment coming in. Yep, the devil. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn, but the Eight of Pentacles. Someone is coming back in. They want to work on something. They put on some, put some sort of effort into something. They've been holding this back. You could be dealing with the Virgo, a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Taurus. A, a Scorpio hip. There's a King of Pentacles here to hang me in. There's something here about a masculine energy here. There's a tower moment coming. There's something he's getting ready to release. No. <laughs> How wild is Pisces person see this as the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles? I have a single woman here and I have a man here, right? Or there's a man here that is getting ready to be single here. Why, Why is the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here for Pisces person for the weekend? Why is the King... The two of pentacles came out. What was this first one that came out? The nine of wands and a queen of swords. And then here, here you are, the queen of cups. I feel like there could be an energy here. This is going to be a bit messy. Someone, there could definitely be a masculine energy that's getting ready to be single. He could be cold on a situation. He could have been juggling and trying to, de and trying to decide about this for a long time because I have a wounded warrior here. For some of you, someone could definitely be coming in trying to get you to decide. Someone could want a second chance with you, but you're being analytical about it. You don't know if you want it because this person could have hurt you before. I also see there could be a man here that is leaving a woman because he's been in a situation where he's there's been a lot of hurt. 
and they're cold on each other. The Queen of Cups is under here, Pisces. So you're in it somewhere. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, you're definitely involved in this somewhere, Pisces, for sure. And home and family and stability and commitment is at stake. Why is Pisces the Five of Pentacles in this situation for the baby sharks? Why is Pisces the fool? You're going in a new direction here. You could be dealing with Aries. Listen, yeah, Pisces. I feel like, oh yeah, I feel <laughs> you're some of you're definitely dealing with a fire sign. Could be an Aries for sure, an earth sign or an air sign, anybody. Here's the Ace of Swords to this Nine of Pentacles here with the Fool of the Page of Wands. Pisces, I feel like you are this Nine of Pentacles in this situation. Or there's some sort of communication coming to someone who is single. Or there's some sort of communication coming in about a single person. Someone could definitely be coming towards you. They are now single, right? They could be telling you, I am single now. Or Pisces, however this is going, you could be leaving somebody in the cold and deciding to be single, you have five of cups, though. There's been some sort of disappointment. And there's getting ready to be a whole new direction taken. There's some sort of communication coming in to you about this, Pisces. Someone has been feeling very disappointed and very dis defeated in a situation. You're using your intuition, Pisces, because somehow, some way, there she go again. You're getting a new beginning. High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh-wee, let's keep going. Why is the four cups here for the obstacle for the baby sharks? I don't even know what to title this at this point for the weekend. <laughs> The high response, you could be dealing with a Taurus. If this could definitely be dealing with work. Like if you're bored and discontent with work, you're getting ready to get a new employer here, right? For sure, right? But this could definitely be bored and discontent dealing with the commitment, bored and discontent in a marriage. This could be someone bored and discontent because someone is because something is not going in accordance to their belief system. They're not getting a traditional situation in the way they would like. The moon, there's definitely something unknown going on here. And it's the obstacle. The obstacle could be somebody expressing their, their discontentment here, right? Somebody could just be holding this all inside. But look, as above, so below. Whatever is in the shadows in this situation, Pisces, is about to become, become the light. Come the light. The moon and the sun. Six of wands. Yep, there's definitely getting ready to be victory and success and acknowledgement. Why is the high priestess here for the outcome for Pisces? Pisces, you are going to have to use your intuition if this shit resonates for your weekend because it's going to be different things for each one of y'all. But I hope you're catching it if it's for you. Why is the high priestess here for the outcome for the baby sharks? Why is the high priestess here? You're going to have to use your intuition. And it's you getting the ace of cups, the seven of cups. The sun, Pisces, you are gonna you're gonna have to use your intuition in the outcome because there will be no illusions in this situation. Your intuition won't allow you to see some sort of illusions with with the, with the first of all, some of you got several options coming, right? The high priest is a seven of cups and the sun, lots of beautiful options, lots of blessings. But there's also something about this situation that will not allow you to see any illusions with the high priestess and the seven of cups and the sun. You are gonna see this for exactly what it is. <laughs> Yep, the six of wands. And then you're going to get victory and success over it, right? Ooh, somebody could definitely be coming in and want to acknowledge you after fantasizing about you and not speaking to you for a while. I don't know why I just got that, but I did. But this is what I'm seeing for you, baby sharks, for your weekend. If I got it right, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and a share. And if you're interested in booking me, email me. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can catch me when I'm live so we can do a little chatting because I love to talk to y'all. Continue to take care of yourselves and I'll bring y'all messages very, very, very soon. Bye, Pisces.